You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Let's talk about Intruder. In three parts. This is going to be a three-part video. First, you're going to watch me do this intro for a few seconds only. Just remain calm patient then you're gonna see me cooking a <laughs> an intruder hamburger you'll see what I mean you're gonna watch me do a Dr. Pepper drinking game to this baby right over here featuring Joshua Wayne LaRue the 80s slash librarian or maybe over there I don't know I never know and then lastly you'll watch me review intruder in the Dr. Pepper diner which is actually right here. It's it's wherever I am. I am the Dr. Pepper Diner. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I've been working on this for a while. This is my 100th video. The first segment is recorded two months ago. The other one a month ago. And last segment ten minutes ago. So, but anyway, without further ado, you can watch me cook now. You're supposed to be filming the food, not me. He's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. He made it, he made it. Yeah, the fries are looking pretty good so far, but I'm just gonna leave them there. Are they juicy too? Are they supposed to be? Uh, no, not at all. But it sounds ah. funny. It's not funny. It, it sounds funny. No. As you can see, my assistant is even helping. Hey, I'll show you for this one later. We hadden een ruzie over. We hadden een ruzie over. Wat? Waar hadden we ruzie over? Welke popcorn het was, hè? Ja. What do you like more? Sweet or salt? Popcorn. Party massacre. Soul. Soul. Which one? Soul. Soul. Salt. Soul. S L W. The skull. God damn. <laughs> and again. I got the fries. <laughs> it's looking delicious. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir, boss man. <laughs> is it hot? It is hot. Yeah, it is. Is it salt? That's the question. No, not yet. I'm gonna put some salt over it. So, if I can find it. Where's the oh. salt? You have this sort of special salt or something. Oh, goddamn, my intruder blew right. <laughs> this is. I think it's over here. Uh, that special salt. Which which uh, what label was it? Balaide. <laughs> Get you pay? Uh, is it sponsored? Let's see. Okay, that's pretty. Yo yo. Get you sponsored? No, I'm getting sponsored by this motherfucker over here, Dr Pepper. Did you know that this is the best um, sort of soda ever? And it's also really a lot of people in the horror community are starting to drink this now too. Because of me, and uh, you know, you should too, because then you're part of the horror community. So, uh, get yourself a can of Dr. Pepper today. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. You're awesome. Awesome hamburger, dude. You made a fucking awesome hamburger. From the, from the Albert Heijn. Not by Albert Heijn. Yo, um, God. So you might be asking, why are you cutting a 
beautiful hamburger in hell. Yeah, my hamburger. Well, that's because this is an ode to Intruder. The scene where the guy gets his hat cut in half. So I look over here. We made a hamburger and cut it in half, just like the face in the movie. That's pretty original. I know. I didn't. I came up with the idea myself, actually. I like it. Okay, so that was a pretty good burger. I really recommend this. If you have a party with your friends and you're going to be watching Intruder, I definitely think you should be um, eating this. I'll recommend a milkshake with watermelons because, uh, of course, we all know the scene with the watermelon um, split and stuff and the scene where he's carving a piece out of it in a really weird fashion. Uh, so I definitely recommend that too. And don't you think that's a great idea? Yes. And um, what do you think of the burger? It was great, right? Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, that was it for the cooking part. And um, What is that? Dr. Pepper. I want names. The greatest soda in the horror community. And um, you can get yourself a can right now for only 60 cents. But uh, that was it for the cooking part. And now we're going to move on to the Dr. Pepper drinking game. Enjoy. This is chapter two from the triple feature from Intruder for my 100th video special. Today I'm joined by the 80 slash librarian that for this video we'll call Slasher Pepsi because instead of drinking Dr. Pepper as me, he'll be drinking Pepsi, which is really cool. I like the twist. He came up with the name, so uh, credit to see you, man. All right, Slasher Pepsi. What's your history with this movie? Uh, I saw it. You saw it back when I was a kid. Yeah, you know, it's I haven't seen it in years, but it was one of the first horror movies I saw as a kid. So I don't remember a whole lot. So it's gonna be like seeing it almost for the first time. So I'm I'm ready to dig into it. Yeah, me too. As always, I mean, I've seen this movie over and over and over again. I'm on Team Innocent Employees, and I'll be drinking whenever someone screams. Someone says Craig or Jennifer. Whenever we hear Joe's music, which is the character from Ted Raimi. Team Psycho. That's me. Of course, you put me on the Psycho team. Um, <laughs> I have to take a drink every time there's a kill. Every time we see the killer's weapon. Every time the creepy theme song plays. And every time someone says something through the store. What, is that, what does that mean exactly? So like through the speakers and stuff. Oh, you know? PA system. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, exactly. I lost the war. It's and then okay. we both have to drink when there's a cool uh, cinematography shot. And there are a lot of um, really um, cool ones. And like some are really subtle and some are like in your face cool. Would you call that, that a cool cinematography definitely. shot? When is a good time, Jennifer? Hi, huh? you're from now, maybe two? She said, Craig, she said, you said Jennifer. Yep. Jennifer, yeah. Craig, Jennifer. Jennifer. Both of them. You're crazy! That's a pretty cool camera. Yeah. <laughs> this scene always cracks me up. There's like all of the employees against one guy. The guy. Oh, no. That's just... Hey, there's a Pepsi in the background. The diet is a bit of Pepsi nonetheless. It's a five on one here at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> Sam Raimi just walks there like, what the hell is going on here? That's the creepy one, right? Yeah. Craig Peters. It said Craig twice. Oh, that's right. He said, Craig. Somebody screamed. Cool camera shot. Yeah. Like the first few times I watched this, it was almost as if he disappeared. Because I was always so much focusing on the crew that I didn't even, like, catch him walking away. Yeah. I always liked that about that shot. Probably I, lo but I love being able to catch stuff that you didn't catch, you know, the first time you saw it. Exactly. That's what makes it work. Watching multiple times. Another point for you. Oh, yeah. Creepy music there. There you have Ted's music or I Joe's music. Know. Ted Raimi's what? music, but ask Joe. She said Jennifer. She said Jennifer. What do you want? I just want to say your name a hundred times, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. <laughs> There's a cool camera shot. That's probably my favorite camera okay. mover movement in horror movie history. Oh, by the way, no, cool camera right. shot. Oh, sure is. There's Joe's music again. And it's there's a cool, uh, 
That was a cool shot behind the pallets. Yeah. Right. And creepy music. By the way, that was a cool camera shot. So. Definitely. And they use the creepy music, so. Another point for you. I think he's going to show his killer weapon now. Like a really cool shot of the knife. I, I can't even remember if Craig's even the killer, man. I can't even remember. There's the music again, though, getting heavy. And the weapon in a few seconds. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yep. That that's those are really cool shots. And a, damn. Did that person just get killed? Yeah. Oh, that's the music from Joe. That's a cool camera angle right there, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's gonna be a really cool shot now. I'm sitting here ignoring the creepy music. Well, don't because you'll lose every, <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> This, this is a cool Excuse me. shot. This is a cool shot. It's coming out. And that's the PA system. Yeah. And the music. Oh, man. The kill. That's so painful. Like, anything with eyes is just... Yeah. That's a pretty cool shot. Definitely. Let's drink to that. The blood dripping on the... Uh... Oh, she's screaming, actually. Wow, that's the worst stalking job I've ever seen. I know. That's... That's something I love about this movie so much because I work, I work in a grocery store myself, so I know how to do that sort of stuff, but they clearly don't. That was a cool shot, and Joe's music is playing. Yep. There you go. Joe's music. Yep. <laughs> that was a cool shot, or at least cool lighting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's that music. Your own face. That's a cool shot, by the way. He screamed again. Yeah. Cool shot, too. And our weapon. Yep. Oh, another murder weapon. Oh, and a death. Oh, my God. Oh. There's some intense music playing. There's a scream. Screamed. And there's intense music again. Oh, yeah. And there's the music from Joe again. Oh, that's Joe's. I need some beer brand beer and some laundry detergent brand laundry detergent. Please open up. Wait, we got beer brand beer on sale. Excuse me. Whew. All right, man. I think I may have caught up or even beat you there because there was a lot of killing and weapons and music and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I'm really, really curious for the scores on this one. One. Two. Three. Sixty-three. Fifty-three. Oh man! <laughs> you got you, you got a lot more than I was gonna expect as well. You got and six that, too. Wow, you got me. But that Jennifer and Craig thing was—I <laughs> actually thought it was gonna be like in the conversation at the beginning, and then uh, when they meet up again, like for a second time. But they actually ended up saying those names a lot more than I thought. Yeah, it's it's his favorite movie, but he had no idea that they said those names like a thousand <laughs> times. By the way, check that out. This was full when we started. If you didn't know yet, he has a channel on his own. It's called the A Slash Librarian. He does audio books and all sorts of good stuff. Yeah, uh, all so the Jace, all the Jason and Freddie and Michael Myers books. Just they're all there. I, I narrate all of them. There are a hundred bucks on eBay. Um, or more. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So I, I give every I give everybody an option. Then come over and listen to them. Save save them a lot of money. So yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate being here. It was a lot of fun. Good, man. So uh, that was the free Dr Pepper drinking game segment or Pepsi for you. <laughs> but um, we'll see you at the Dr Pepper Diner. Yo. Welcome to the third segment and also to the Dr. Pepper Diner. So yeah, as you know, now I'll be talking about the movie and reviewing it, Intruder. I mean, what can I say that I myself haven't already said? I love this film. Why do I love it so much? Because of the characters. The characters are awesome and really relatable for me because I work in a supermarket myself. And there are a lot of situations in this movie that happen in the grocery store where I work as well. So that's really cool. I love that about this film. It's relatable to me. Why else do I love it? The music. There's a lot of suspense in this music. It's a really original, weird sounding um, <laughs> movie, which I like. I really like that about this film. It's a great soundtrack. What else do I love? I love the comedy. There's a lot of dark comedy in this movie. 
which is to be expected when Sam Raimi is helping with your film. And uh, there's a lot of comedy that's it's it's not focused on main audience, the main audience, but also fo mostly focused on other people that work in a supermarket, or at least that's how I interpreted it. Because, uh, for example, when every when anyone's lifting a um, like a box with watermelons in this film, he makes these really weird faces and is really like struggling, and that's <laughs> that happens all the time at at my grocery store where I work. So that's that's really relatable. I love the kills. The kills are gruesome as hell, but awesome, absolutely phenomenal. The guy who worked on the Walking Dead, the, the VFX, and when you watch it, it just it just blows your mind. You can watch this movie anytime, really. Whenever you feel like watching this movie, you can just pop it in there and enjoy yourself for 90 minutes, which is awesome. I love it for that. It's never not time to watch Intruder, really, when you think about it. So yeah, those are the main reasons why I love this film so much. Mostly it's personal. Um, I love the story, I mean, I love the killer, I love the suspense, I love everything about it. But mostly it's really personal taste when it comes to this film. But I love it, I absolutely I can't stop talking about this film. That's all I have to say about it, because the rest has already been said. So yeah, that was my triple feature slash for pepper 100th video special. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh... Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. I'll be making a lot more videos soon. And last Sunday, the 1st of September, was the Slash Pepper 3 year anniversary. It was actually on another channel at first, but uh, later changed to Slash Pepper. But the channel was made on the 1st of September 2016. So, 3 year anniversary is awesome. So, yeah, really, that's all I have to say. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's